Your controller does in fact matter. I couldn't play without my Hori. Yeah, that perfectly leads me into talking about it, since there's more people here. Glad you mentioned it. I really do think controllers matter. Like, for every game, right? Uh, I have an example. I have a very, very basic example. Think it out too. Oh, no, no. I like Halo. I've been really, really enjoying Halo Infinite, right? But, for some reason, I I'm a PlayStation gamer, okay? Like, I don't have an Xbox, but I have a PC. That's why I'm playing Halo. This thing, for me, just doesn't do it for shooting games. Hey, I'll say it. This thing for me just does not do it for shooting games. I am a bigger fan of boom, the Xbox controller. I like the off-center, the asymmetrical stick layout for shooting games, right? I For some reason, I just find this significantly more ergonomic when it comes to using a controller for shooting games. And um, since I got another one, because I had to sell my old Xbox controller because I was poor, and I had enough money to buy another one. Anyway, uh, since I've been able to buy another Xbox controller, I've been having more fun with Halo and actually been doing better. Now, uh, the reason why I say your controller matters is it doesn't, it, it's not always about winning, right? So if everyone worried about winning, the only controller you'd see, thank you, I appreciate the alert. The only controller you would see is the most powerful one, right? You would never see the controller that, um, that sucks, right? But I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't think that um, the fight stick is the coolest controller when it comes to winning, right? I think that, Uh, hold on. I'm trying to get this thing to load in. There we go. I think if we were looking for a controller that is the most winningest, right, if everyone just wanted to win, everyone would be playing on a hitbox. But I don't think that's the case. Right? So if you're saying, I want to win the most, then your controller matters. Right? So you'd probably be playing on a hitbox. But if you're saying, I want something that's the most comfortable for me or makes sense for me. If you're playing a shooting game and you don't like the PlayStation controller, maybe the Xbox is the Xbox controller is the right thing for you. Or keyboard and mouse is the right thing for you. Or maybe you are an old soul and you come from the arcades and you really like the feel of a good joystick. Don't make a weird joke into that, please. You, you're gonna wanna get a fight stick. It's not only about winning, it's about comfortability and how fun it is to play. I could easily turn on a PlayStation 4 controller and play this game on a pad. I could easily do that. But part of playing Soul Calibur 6 for me, part of playing all fighting games for me, is the fun. And I just don't have as much fun playing fighting games on a pad. Right? There are specialty, there are cool pads that some people like more than the regular DualShock 4. For example, uh, you mentioned your Hori, Soul of Key, right? Are you talking about the Hori Fighting Commander Octa? Um, here's the old one. This is the Hori Fighting Commander. This exists for people who want six buttons on the face and a good D-pad because the PS4 doesn't really give you that. Imagine playing games for fun. See, so either way, my topic of fighting games, my topic of controller matters, I have that pad, it's a good pad. I played on that pad before I got a fight stick. When Soul Calibur 6 came out, I told myself, I'm really diving back in. I want to play this game, and I want to play this game in a way I enjoy. So I bought this fight stick. Otherwise, I would have stayed on the Horny Fighting Commander. I still have it. I won't get rid of it. I do not like having a stick on my pad. That's why I got the Hori. I just couldn't do a regular DualShock 4 and yet. Yeah. Right, so controller matters for every walk of gaming. It doesn't matter if you're playing for fun, doesn't matter if you're playing for efficiency, it doesn't matter if you're playing to win, doesn't matter if you're playing for comfortability. You look at all of those different things, your controller matters for one reason or another. The said person. I could easily, like I said, plug in this this Hori Fighting Commander and play on it and do, I don't know, let's do a combo on my stick. Let's do, uh, let's do a stick lethal combo, right? We could easily do this combo on pad. Right? That's on my stick. Let's plug this bad boy in. Let's plug in this pad. I also have a Razor Ryan. I like it a lot. Yes, it's called the Razor Ryan. I think that pad's pretty good. I was gonna pick one up. Um, but I was like, no, I barely even use my Horror Fighting Commander. I could easily do that same combo uh, if I could first reset. On a pad. Just as easily I could do that on a pad. But did I have as much fun? No. Maybe that combo's a little. Hey, that's like the standard. Oh, it's not. 
Gotcha. <laughs> I can easily do everything that I do on a stick on a pad, right? Uh, but I, I don't have fun playing that way but because I don't enjoy playing that way. From a casual perspective, the pad is not doing it for me. The stick is doing it for me from like a casual, fun, like excitement, feel perspective. If you're in a winningest perspective and you're like, I want to win, I don't care about any of that shit. I want the thing that's going to give me the best chance of fucking winning, then here's your control. And like, you're like, I want to win. I, I am definitely playing to win. Here you go. Here's your all digital input controller that you, the only way you drop something is if you fucking suck and you drop it. You can't be like, oh, this joystick sucks or all oh, this D-pad sucks. All buttons. All buttons. Every controller choice is relevant to a certain level of play. Because I bet you that tons of fighting game players or tons of people who have never played a fighting game, like, when League comes out, when the League fighting game comes out, Project L, I don't know if, that, if it'll stay that name, but Project L fighting game, the Riot fighting game comes out, I, I can bet you that a lot of people who are so used to keyboard and mouse um, that want to try the game, like League players and people who are very fascinated with the lore of League, like maybe they just played TFT, TFT or uh, what's the other one? Legends of Terra, maybe they play a game like that, or League of Legends Wild Rift on their phone, like, you know, these characters are sick, I watched Arcane, I love Jinx, Jinx is my favorite character ever. They're just gonna play on a keyboard and mouse. They're just gonna, like, say, oh, this game fully functions with WASD and, like, three attack buttons, like, U, I, O, and P, like, four buttons over here, and then, like, WASD, cool, I'll just play on my keyboard and mouse. It's the same thing here with this. And this is a box that is specifically designed and more ergonomic, right? You can't accidentally hit other keys on that. There is no other keys to hit on that. Just something that I want everyone to think about. Don't ask yourself, like, is my controller holding me back? Do I suck because of my controller? Ask yourself, is this the controller for me because of the things I want out of it? Ask yourself about what you want out of your controller before blaming it for any situation. I was recently in a chat where uh, someone was talking about playing uh, Guilty Gear Strive. They were talking about playing Chip. And they're like, well, Chip sucks. Like, this character is very hard to win with. Not to mention I'm on a DualShock 5, or a DualSense, a DualSense controller. And I was like, what do you mean? Right? This is all spurred because I saw someone in a Twitch chat say something that I thought was interesting. We won't say stupid, we won't say dumb, but interesting. So, well, I don't think the DualShock, I don't think the DualSense is a good controller. This controller sucks and I'm playing a bad character. I was like, it sounds like you just want an excuse for when you lose. But if the dual sense isn't right for you, maybe try something else. And they said, I don't have a lot of money. I have like $60. Instead of dual shock four is $60. The Hori Fighting Commander, the original Hori Fighting Commander is $40. A cheap fight stick off eBay, off Amazon, right? Is, is like fucking $60, you could get, this is a common drone. This is like the ultimate fucking used fight stick. If you find this shit on an eBay or like an Amazon or any sort of local selling and you want to try a stick, buy this shit. Stick, a stick especially for the price. Uh, Hitbox with charge characters is very different. Don't know if we discussed that about it already. Yeah, so now imagine that your character does 360. Do you know how weird a 360 is on a hitbox? Maybe, just maybe. The hitbox is not the device for you. What if you want to do Behemoth Typhoons in Guilty Gear Strive? Maybe, just maybe, the hitbox is not the controller for you. Maybe you want to stick. Maybe you got to actually turn the butter. You know, you got to be Typhoon Timmy and Behemoth Typhoon all over your opponent. Right? Maybe a stick would be better for that. Charge characters I've heard are actually easier on hitbox. I've also heard that a lot of advanced movement techniques and dashing easier on hitbox. Right? So you just like hold back and then press forward and it gives you neutral, you press forward forward and it gives you neutral, oh wait, no it gives you neutral. You hold forward, then you press back. So when you let it go, you get another forward input. You hold neutral, you hold you hold forward, press back, hold forward, press back, and you'll get an instant forward dash. Or vice versa, you hold back and you hit forward and then you get another, you get another back input after because you're still holding the back and you get instant back dash. You can get a back dash from crouch, a back dash from walking. Four dash from crouch, four dash from walking, whichever, right? So like, if you're like in the winning is mindset of you want to play the game to 
have a controller that's going to do everything you need it to do and be strictly digital so that there's nothing droppable this is this is the controller for you if you're like this old dude who's like i grew up in the arcades playing marvel 2 and i never learned how to use a controller because we only had six buttons and a joystick back in my day this is the controller for you you just want to feel like you have gusto as you play this is probably still the controller for you you like the feel and the ergonomics of how close your hand is and you like only using your thumbs finger action thumb action and this is the controller for you and there's nothing wrong with using any of these controllers for whichever games you decide to play i will not recommend uh, and i hope i don't eat my words using a fucking hitbox on a shooting game i don't know how you'd make that work please don't do this or maybe a hitbox cross-up because it has two analog sticks i wouldn't recommend you know a hitbox cross-up for a shooting game or whatever but if that is the way that you find the game most comfortable to play feel free to do it when I played Blaze Blue Central Fiction and I was learning Naoto, I was struggling to confirm my optimals because I couldn't hit micro dashes on the DualShock 4. Once I got my Hori, my 214 6 6 notations were clean as fuck. And it's not specifically that the DualShock 4 is ass or bad. Same with the DualSense. Someone said the DualSense was bad in the chat and I was like, I don't know, I don't, I don't play on pad, but it, it might just not be the controller for you. Because there are a lot of people that are going to say, they're going to try a stick. And they say, oh, oh, no, this is, this is, how do I fucking hold this shit? Do I like, do I like, do I like grip it? Like a wine glass like this? Do I like hold it between two fingers? Like I'm bent? Do I fucking grab the top of it like, like this? Oh, what are these fucking, okay, this, I press, okay, yep. Like, just like that, right? Yeah, so this controller may not be for everyone. Some people like their hand more spread out. They're used to keyboards. In which case, this controller is probably not for them. Any pad. Probably. And there's so many different types of controllers and makers and manufacturers, and there's always getting a controller custom built. I mean, the GG dude, yeah. So like, that's a perfect example, right? So he played, he was a pad player before. Initial T was a pad player, SA Rob mentioned it. And he went to a local with an arcade stick. I'm sorry, he went to a local with a fight with a steering wheel. <laughs> Not an arcade stick, with a steering wheel. And they egged him on. There's actually a video on it on Corey Gaming's channel. Check out Corey Gaming stuff. He's super sick. Some of the best fighting game content ever. Uh, but so he he took a steering wheel to locals, and it's just a really big pack. Like when you look at the face of it, he's not turning the steering wheel, but it is a it is this straight up right at you, right? And then it's on a steering wheel, and there's some paddles for L2 and R2. Okay? Uh, so he essentially played on a very big flat facing pad towards him, but it was a steering wheel. And because he found the ergonomics of it comfortable enough, and his friends egged him on to actually take it to, I think it was Canada Cup? He played against one of the greatest players to ever touch Guilty Gear, Dogura, one of his inspirations for playing Guilty Gear, and he beat him, and he made top eight. I don't remember if he won the entire event, but I do know that he beat people, because he was in top eight, and he beat one of the strongest players to play that version of Guilty Gear in Dogura. You can use whatever controller you want. It just has to be the right controller for you. I'm not going to tell you not to play Street Fighter 6 when it comes out on a fucking dance dance pad. Because, hey, maybe it's the right controller for you. <laughs> I can see it now. Daigo's legs. <laughs> Daigo's twerking on his opponent doing I don't get to short you can. <laughs> Xbox controller for live? Yeah. I won't lie, I'm a big fan of the Xbox controller when it comes to shooting games. I tried for like three weeks because I had to sell my old Xbox controller. Rest in peace to that controller. Um, so curious who started this convo? I already had it in my description. But the reason why this conversation got started is because someone was mentioning that their character and controller were holding them back in Guilty Gear Strive in a chat that I was, I was like, you sound like you just want to make an excuse for why you're losing, but if the DualSense sucks, if you really don't like the DualSense pad because you're on PS5, you could always buy a PS4 controller and they do work on PS5. He's like, I only have like $60. You could buy a small stick. You could buy something like a Comba Gravity. I'm sorry, a Comba, a Comba Drone and try it out. You could try a Hori Fighting Stick Mini. It's like $40. It's not the most, it's not the best controller out there, but it's a controller. You know, it's a, it's a stick. 
Hitbox, you could make yourself your own custom hitbox. You just need buttons on a board. You could gut, you could gut your, PS, your PS5 controller and put the guts into a hitbox. Put the guts into any box that has, that you can drill holes into and you know, wire the buttons in. It's never about, it's never about the tool, it's about the user, right? When it comes to fighting games, at least, or gaming in general, like, there could be someone out there who fucking loves this controller for shooting games. I don't. So I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, the DualShock 4 fucking sucks. Controller. Crash. So bad. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna say that it's bad for me. Right? I wanna try a hitbox one day. Like, honestly, legitimately, I wanna try a hitbox. I might make it a donation goal closer to my birthday, and hopefully, you guys just buy me a fucking hitbox. Cool. Nice. It may not be the controller for me. It may not, right? It It is technically the most competitive controller. But man, do I fucking love doing quarter circles and Z motions and, and half circles with, with my joystick. I fucking love this. That's that's why I play fighting games. I play every fighting game that I play on stick, including games that aren't really meant for, like NRS games. I have no reason to play an NRS game on a fucking stick, but I do it because this is how I enjoy fighting games. Imagine getting mixed by a dude on a Dance Dance Revolution foot pad. That's what I'm saying, dude. Daigo's hands aren't going to be working in, dude, when Street Fighter 8 comes out because he's going to be so old. He's gonna, his hands won't work anymore, but he's like, I'll just dance on these kids. I'll fucking twerk on these kids. I don't care. Sure do you can. You know, he's going to be doing a Dance Dance pad. With buttons in the middle. He just presses the buttons. I met a, a Soul Calibur player that plays with his controller upside down. He's, he's uh, left-handed. He's left-hand dominant. Um, there's a guy named Seth Killian who, before he got a custom stick made for himself, he played with his hands reverse, like this. He played on stick, and he used this hand to move his joystick, his right hand instead of his left, and he used this hand for the buttons, which was very odd. And then I think someone actually either got one custom fabricated, or someone made him one, a, uh, a stick that's backwards. I think there are sellers that sell backwards sticks. Yeah, Keycade. I believe it's Keycade. I believe they make um, backwards controllers, right? So view all. So they have, you know, here it is right here. This is the reverse one. There it is. So they have like normal size, right? They have normal normal direction, which is what most of you guys would see when you see a hitbox or a joystick or, or a mix box right here, normal. And then they have them backwards. For people who want to use the, um, the face buttons on their left hand. I believe they even make a backwards joystick. Yeah, there it is. So they even make a backwards joystick. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, they're really fucking expensive. Uh, but I mean, you're going to have to get something custom fabricated or frick your whole stick or flip your whole fucking stick around. You know, you're going to have to fucking turn this bad boy around like this and fucking move with this and press these buttons and then all your inputs are now reversed. <laughs> you have to remap all your buttons all the time. Where's my Amex? Did you not see it? Hold on, let me go get it again. Was it showing on the screen, guys? I, I don't know if it was showing on the screen. But you see, there's so many different forms of controllers and stuff. Like, there's a controller out there for you for whatever game you want to play. Right? I suck at Tekken movement, and I heard that Hitbox makes Tekken's movement easier. So even if I don't play Hitbox for every game that I play, when Tekken 8 comes out, and I'm trying to fucking twerk on people with Leroy, I want to be at the Korean Backdash. And to do so, I'm probably gonna have to buy it a hitbox i'm probably gonna have to buy one hitbox specifically for games with hard movement like that like i'm not good at the tech and movement right i'm not yeah i saw it good they, here, here they are right here i'm not good at the tech and movement i'm not but maybe with a hitbox i'll be better at it, more proficient at it that'd be pretty cool anyways this has just been a little talk for the youtubes the chat say hi and bye to youtube because that's where this is going for the youtubes about controllers in any game honestly right keyboard and mouse ps4 controller xbox controller when it comes to shooting games when it comes to fighting games keyboard and mouse or just keyboard in general you know hitbox style controllers all button boxes pads and sticks play whatever is most comfortable and most efficient and effective for you you might not even be on the right controller for you right now you might be having hand pains on a stick or on a or on a you know a regular controller on a pad and not really think about the fact that maybe the hitbox is in maybe 
the joystick is missing. Maybe you've had to flip your controllers your whole life, and you didn't realize that there's just a maker out there that makes controllers backwards. <laughs> if you are that person, I hope that this serves you well. And I hope this video does too. Beanie Thuggish, signing out.